Disney World's Star Wars Hotel is closing. There are new perks for annual pass holders coming soon. There's more Figment merchandise, and the one thing everyone hated in Disney World is finally gone. It's all coming up right now on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. All right, Disney dropped some major news on us this week, so I hope you're ready. The Star Wars Hotel is closing. So we're starting off with some major Disney World news here. After only a year and a half, Disney will be closing the Galactic Star Cruiser. This cruise-like experience puts you at the center of your very own Star Wars story, complete with unique dining experiences and lightsaber training and an excursion to Batuu. The final voyage for the Star Wars Hotel will be September 28th to the 30th, 2023. For the time being, new bookings are temporarily paused, and Disney will be contacting those who had bookings from September 30th through the end of the year to reschedule or I don't know what they're going to do with those, but heads up, you'll be getting a call. Bookings will then reopen on May 26th for voyages on the Star Cruiser until its final trip. Details on what will happen to the building and location have not yet been shared. Disney has revealed that a special new ticket deal is now available. The Four Park Magic Ticket will be available to purchase starting May 23rd, 2023. With this ticket, you'll be able to get a four-day Four Park Magic Ticket for $99 per day plus tax, total of $396 plus tax. You're going to get one day of admission for each of the four theme parks across the four days. Without a park hopper, you're only going to be able to go to one park per day. But here's the best part, no park pass reservations will be required. The tickets will be valid for use from June 1st through September 29th, but there are some block out dates, July 1st to the 4th and September 1st to September 4th. Disney World has recently announced VI Pass Holder Days, featuring limited time offerings just for pass holders. These will kick off for a limited time in June. Disney mentioned pass holder exclusive treats and limited time photo ops, but one of the most exciting aspects of VI Pass Holder Days is the discounts. During the event, pass holders can get increased discounts on merchandise and food and beverage locations around Walt Disney World, including discounts on select Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival food booths. Now, we've seen that before. The discounts aren't usually very high and they're pretty minimal, but hey, we'll take it. Disney World is also introducing a limited time exclusive space for pass holders to rest and relax in the park. So it basically sounds like it'll be a little pass holder lounge of a sort, which would be an awesome perk to have during busy summer days when you just need a place to escape. Escape. Here's hoping it's indoors, so there's AC. Disney World hasn't confirmed exactly where this lounge is going to be located, though. We'll be on the lookout for details. Disney also announced that beginning May 16th, Florida residents can purchase the Disney Summer Magic Ticket. This offer includes either a four-day ticket for $58 per day plus tax or a three-day ticket for $70 per day plus tax. Park Pass reservations will be required as part of this ticket, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about taking advantage of this deal. The Florida resident Disney Summer Magic tickets are valid through September 29th, 2023, and are subject to the following blockout dates. May 26th to the 29th, July 1st to the 4th, and September 1st to September 4th. Those are all those holiday weekends and weeks, by the way. Now, another great way to save money on your Disney World trip is by planning your food budget and sticking to it. And right now we've got a great sale going on with our snacks and guide bundle. It's our four most popular guidebooks, all for one great price. It's already a steal at 35% off, but on top of that, you can get an additional discount with code YouTube. The link to grab one for yourself is in the description box below. So one of the coolest effects has finally returned to the Festival of Fantasy Parade in Magic Kingdom. Back in April, the Maleficent Dragon caught fire during a showing of Fantasmic in Disneyland. Following that accident, Disney made the call to temporarily suspend similar fire effects in all Disney parks for a while. That meant that the Maleficent Dragon's fire-breathing effect at the Magic Kingdom Parade in Disney World was temporarily paused as well. But now she's back. We spoke to a cast member who told us that the dragon is only breathing fire in some parts of the park. For part of the parade, the fire effect is still suspended due to proximity of flammable materials. We were told that you should be able to see the effect on Main Street USA, so try to get a spot along Main Street if you want to see it soon. Disney had previously announced that the live-action Little Mermaid meet-and-greet would be coming to Disneyland and Disney World this summer, and we now know the opening date. Disney's confirmed that the new meet-and-greet will officially open on May 26, 2023, the opening date of the film, in Disney World and Disneyland. 
In Hollywood Studios, you'll be able to meet Ariel in Walt Disney Presents, and in Disneyland, you'll be able to find her at the promenade near It's a Small World. The one thing everyone hated in Epcot is finally gone. The harmonious barges have been fully removed from World Showcase Lagoon, and we can once again see across the lagoon without Stargate and the tacos in there with us. Although Harmonious was a wonderful show, we're happy to see the beauty of the World Showcase once again. The Buzz Lightyear character meet and greet has finally returned to Tomorrowland. Buzz has been present in this land for a while now, but he's usually up on the stage in Tomorrowland greeting guests from a distance, per the COVID protocol way back when. Now, the full meet and greet is back. It's located back by Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger spin underneath that part of the People Mover, right next to the Carousel of Progress. Thanks to a Disney food blog reader, we got a look at a new email sent by Disney regarding hotel rooms. The email says, we wanted to let you know that we were making some changes to our resort room type names in order to make it simpler for you to choose the room you want in the future. Disney also released a statement to travel agents about the upcoming changes. Effective later this month and including all 2024 reservations, the names of some room categories at deluxe resorts will be simplified. There will be three new categories next time you're booking a hotel, resort view, water Water view and theme park view. Disney continued by saying that this change will focus on the guest experience at check-in as we assign rooms and prioritize specific requests. So that's super interesting because prior to this, you would book a specific room view and then they would assign you that room before you got to the hotel. So I wonder if that's changing. We're gonna have to see. Based on some of our experiences, this change could make choosing rooms more complicated. For example, one time we booked a water view room thinking we'd be looking at a lagoon. And when we got to our room, we noticed the view was of a random fountain. So if that starts happening again, Disney could have difficulty with complaints. It's almost summertime, and because of that, hotels near Disney Springs are honoring the hard work of teachers and school support staff by offering room rates starting at $92 this summer. This offer includes seven different hotels located in the Disney Springs area of Disney World. The hotels that are compatible with this offer are B Resort and Spa, Double Tree Suites by Hilton Orlando, Drury Plaza Hotel Orlando, Hilton Orlando Buena Vista Palace, Hilton Orlando, Lake Buena Vista, Holiday Inn Orlando Disney Springs, and Wyndham Garden Lake Buena Vista. This promotional offer must be booked between May 15th, 2023 and August 15th, 2023 for stays between May 29th and September 4th. To receive the special rate, you've got to go during those dates. The discounted rate will apply to preschool, daycare, and kindergarten through university college educators and support staff in the U.S. and Canada. The discounts will be based on availability and must be booked through the promotion website. Some blockout dates may apply, so availability could be limited. Disney World said goodbye to the old 50th anniversary iridescent cast member name tags and has introduced a new design. We've known these were coming for a while, but now they're officially in the parks. The new design is inspired by twinkling stars and pixie dust magic and was dreamed up by costume designer Joshua Winchester. When asked about the design, Joshua said, the singular golden star above Cinderella Castle represents our cast who are the guiding light of the Walt Disney World Resort. The field of stars represents that little sprinkling of pixie dust our cast carries while making magic for our guests. And we got some news about a Edition Universal Studios. Minion Land will be the new immersive area that will expand on the Despicable Me Minion Mayhem attraction, but also include new experiences themed around the Minions franchise. The Minion Cafe will be a new restaurant in the land, but it's way more than that. It's an immersive new eatery, quote unquote, that offers food that should please everybody and an entertaining dining experience with three themed areas dedicated to Kevin, Stuart, Bob, and Otto. However, more important is the food at Minion Cafe, which will include despicables like Otto's Nudo Bowl, Agnes's Honeymoon Soup, and Carl's Crispy Cauliflower, which is plant-based. You'll also find Bake My Day, a retail macarons, s'mores, and more. You'll also find exclusive Minion-inspired merchandise like apparel and plush, drinkware, accessories, keychains, and more, of course. Pop Banana will feature banana flavored popcorn because why not this is also where you'll find other popcorn flavors along with minion themed popcorn buckets including the minion selfie bucket freeze ray pops will feature a variety of popsicles inspired by Groot, the minions and vector illumination theater is where visitors will get to meet all their favorite minions characters as well as characters from the movie sing guests will also find photo ops throughout the new land celebrating additional characters from illumination films 
Minion Land will open in Universal Orlando in summer 2023, very soon. You know that feeling when they tell you it's time to go home, but you're already home in Disney World? It's not something everyone understands, but we get you. There's no such thing as too much Disney World. And to show that, we have a new design in our merchandise shop. It's the some people go to Disney too much, it's me shirt. And if you want that same feeling while drinking your favorite Joffrey's blend at home, we've got the design on mugs as well. Your support means the world to us, and we thank you so much. Head over to dfbstore.com to check out this style. Akershus Royal Banquet Hall in the Norway Pavilion is home to a character meal with Disney princesses. It reopened with dinner a while back and breakfast has now returned as well. This is a prefix menu and each meal will cost $53 per adult and $34 per child ages 3 to 9. The price does not include tax or gratuity, so prep for that. Breakfast here is served family style rather than as a buffet right now. Each princess spends a few minutes at each table and diners will also receive this autograph card featuring all the princess's signatures. We visited with each princess for a few minutes and took lots of great photos. We got to meet Snow White and Belle and Ariel and Tiana was there and Aurora too. Now, Akersus might be a great option if you've been trying to get a reservation at other popular character meals like Cinderella's Royal Table or Be Our Guest in Magic Kingdom. Not technically a character meal, but you do get to see the beast. And we got to interact with each princess at least once at Akersus, so it's a great way to knock out a ton of those meet and greets at once. But the food wasn't anything that knocked our socks off. It was pretty standard breakfast fare, though we did love those waffles. We've had similar quality meals at quick service restaurants throughout the parks and hotels, but Acker's Juice is still a solid option for character dining at breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Epcot. For our full review, check it out at DisneyFoodBlog.com. Head with us over to the Main Street Confectionery in Magic Kingdom. We're trying out the new Blondie Pie topped with chopped Twix. It's made with butterscotch flavored chips, caramel bits, and topped with Twix Mini for $6.49. The pie base is infused with a vanilla flavor and the addition of Twix pieces brings a delightful crunch and texture to each bite, while the caramel swirls throughout, enhancing the flavor. It's a treat that caters to both your sweet and salty cravings. Next time you're strolling through Magic Kingdom, we'd recommend trying one out. It's a pretty good sized portion, so you could absolutely share it with a friend if you just want a quick treat. Haleo by Chef Jose Andreas is a restaurant at Disney Springs that features a Spanish-inspired menu of tapas and signature dishes like paella, cured meats, Spanish cheeses, and more. And Haleo is getting a new menu for the summer with some brand new dishes. There are lots of fun new options on this menu like avocado, mojo verde, and goat cheese salad, mussels cooked in Jasper served with mojo verde, fried eggplant with honey and lemon zest, stuffed piquillos of bacalao, and potatoes served with manchango cheese and a bechamel sauce, and you can check out the whole menu on our website now. Get ready, Figment fans. Something new is on its way. Disney announced that a new annual passholder magnet will be coming soon, and it's Figment. Disney shared a video on the passholder Facebook page, and the video features the famous purple dragon painting on a wall to then reveal the big news. This is all part of the VI passholder days Disney will be hosting here in June. At the popcorn bucket next to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in Hollywood Studios, we spotted the Mickey Mouse Picnic Basket popcorn bucket available for purchase. This was first seen at Mickey's Toontown in Disneyland Park, but now it's made its way to the East Coast. The bucket's made to look like Mickey's gloved hand holding a picnic basket, and you can purchase it for $25. It comes with a serving of regular buttered popcorn. When it first premiered at Disneyland Park, it came with a side of your choice of snacks from Good Boy Grocers. However, here it just works like a regular popcorn bucket. And even the bucket's strap is themed. It's covered in little icons with nods to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and the perfect picnic short film that serves as the ride's pre-show. And that's all I got for you today, but it was quite a bit. For even more Disney news, sign up for our free Disney newsletter. The link to sign up is in the description box below. Thanks for listening, everyone, and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.